This is another tutorial for you beginners out there wanting to know how to make a RPG sprite change from left to right in their movement. Okay, I know the graphics aren't the best, but give me a break here. At least I did them all, and I also did this character. Yes, it does look like an RPG maker character, but I assure you I made the elf pixel by pixel. Go inside the house, that's pretty cool. So I can walk right and I can walk left, and if I let go, there's a short delay while the character slows down. I can walk on top of water and so forth. So, hopefully this will be useful in making some type of game. Well, let's go ahead and look at the sprite. If you'll notice here, I only use one sprite. I don't I didn't upload a left sprite and a right sprite because you want to have as little graphics as you can in your game so it runs faster and you don't have a huge file. That's something important to know. If I open the character graphic, you'll notice I have some simple commands here. First off, I want the image speed and the image index to be zero because if I don't put that in there, then the image will start walking right when I play the game. When I hit left, I want the graphic, since my graphic was facing right, see? When I hit left, I want to transform the sprite and mirror that horizontally which is found right here. And I want to start moving in the direction of left. Now you'll notice how I've put the speed at a point nine instead of like a six or something like that. That's because I want the character to move gradually so I hit relative and it adds upon, the speed adds upon itself. Now that could present a little problem in that to make it a little bit more realistic I put some friction in there. And that's under cr the create event and it has set the friction and you can find that under the move right somewhere in here here and I set the friction to 0.5 now this works great but if you put the friction higher than your movement then you'll wonder why you're not able to move and that will be the reason when I hit the right I do the same thing I have 0.9 to the right relative I transform the sprite you have to make sure to put this back to no mirroring, otherwise you'll hit right and he'll still be facing left. And finally, because I don't want to be a ship that continually builds momentum and goes faster and faster, under the step event I limit the speed using a control variable right here, if, if the speed is larger than 5, set the speed to 5. So I can't go faster than 5. But if the speed is larger than 0, then I want my character to slow down. So I set the image speed to point, oh sorry, if the image speed is larger than zero, that's if I wanted my character to speed up slowly. So rather than having your character be like at the full speed walk, uh, you can put it at point two and slow it down. Another reason I have to do this is because my, my character here only has four frames, yes. And because it only has four frames, they play really, really fast. So I have to slow down the animation speed so it's, it's running more smoothly. And that's why I have this right here. Also, if the speed is, this is the one that controls the slowdown. If the speed is smaller than five, then my image speed is zero, my image index is zero. I could actually put this a little bit lower. But that's so if I let go of the left or right key, my character will, will not be moving anymore. And that's it. Go ahead and download it.